Greetings everyone and welcome back. Here's something super exciting. I've been working on a simple but powerful setup that connects an Xbox controller to an ESP32C6 dev kit over BLE and displays all the input data live on the ILE9341 SPI screen. It start as a way to visualize controller input, buttons, trigger and analog sticks in real time. But once I saw how responsive it was, I realized this could be much more than just a visualizer. The real reason behind this build is a project I've been developing, a clock based snake game console. It looked like a regular clock, but when you press a hidden button, it transforms into a playable snake game powered by the ESP32C6 and controlled wirelessly via an Xbox controller. Instead of cramming all the technical details into the main video, I created this separate walkthrough to cover the full build process, from BLE pairing to display logic. The ESP32C6 handles BLE input and display rendering smoothly, and the whole thing runs without lag or flicker. It's clean, compact and ready to be extended into robotics, gesture control or any interactive project you can imagine. And if you enjoy builds like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give the thumbs up to support more creative hardware projects. For the hardware, we are using the ESP32C6 dev kit, a compact and powerful microcontroller designed for modern wireless applications. It features a RISC-V single core processor running at 160 MHz and support both BLE5 and Wi-Fi 6. To display controller's input readings, we use a 320x240 ELE9341 TFT display, which communicates over SPI and is well supported by libraries like Adafruit GFX and Adafruit ELE9341. It's a vibrant full-color screen with fresh refresh rate, making it ideal for real-time feedback like button presses, analog stick position and trigger values. As for sourcing this display we use in this project, we got it from PCBWay's gift shop. PCBWay gift shop is an online marketplace where you can get variety of electronics module and board from their genuine price. Or you could use PCBWay currency which is called beans. You get beans after ordering something from PCBWay as reward points or you could get them by posting any project in PCBWay's community. Also PCBWay is organizing the PCBWay 8th project design contest a global event that invites makers, engineers and innovators to showcase their most creative build. With categories in electronics, mechanical and AIoT, it's a great opportunity to share your work, connect with community and compete for exciting prizes. You guys can check out PCBWay if you want great PCB service at an affordable rate and low price. We get started with the project by setting up a simple breadboard setup using the ESP32C6 dev kit connected to the ELE9341 display. Using jumper wires, we use the following wiring diagram for connecting ESP32 with our display. This was the code we use in this project and it's a simple one. To begin, we include the essential libraries that handle the core functionality of the project. This include the BLE Gamepad client library, which is the heart of this setup. It enables the ESP32C6 to connect with and interpret input from an Xbox controller over BLE. For driving our display, we are using Adafruit GFX library along with the Adafruit ELE9341 display library that handles graphic rendering. And here's the final result of this surprisingly simple yet useful build. We successfully paired our Xbox controller with the ESP32C6 dev kit and it is connected to an ELE9341 SPI display. Thanks to the BLE Gamepad client library, we are able to capture and decode all the controller's input. Every button press is registered instantly and every trigger value is tracked in real time, which open up a whole range of possibilities beyond just a display. To connect the Xbox controller with the ESP32C6 setup, we simply hold down the pair button on the controller until it enters pairing mode. The ESP32 running the BLE gamepad client library will automatically detect and establish a BLE connection. This setup can be used to build a gamepad visualizer 
an input logger or even a custom UI for embedded games, all running directly on the ESP32C6 with the live feedback on ELI 9341 display. But here's where it gets even more exciting. You can use this exact controller to control a robot wirelessly. By mapping the analog stick value to motor speed and assigning button presses to trigger actions like arm movement, gripping control or mode switching, you can build the fully responsive robot interface with no wires, no latency, no external receiver modules. The ESP32C6 handle PLE input display rendering and control logic all in one compact board. Every button press is captured instantly and trigger values are tracked in real time, giving this setup far more potential than just visualizing input. It's a flexible foundation for building a gamepad visualizer, an input logger or even a custom UI for embedded games. That's exactly why I built it, to control my snake game console using an Xbox controller. With the ESP32C6 handling BLE input and the ELI 9341 display rendering live feedback, now I have a responsive wireless interface that is ready for gameplay, debugging and even robotics. For now, this project has been completed and in addition, we appreciate PCBWay support of this project. Visit them for a variety of PCB related services such as stencil service, PCB assembly services as well as 3D printing services. Thanks for reaching this far and I'll be back with a new project pretty soon. Peace out.